Hey, what's up? This is the creator platform tutorial. We're gonna use Ruby on Rails. We're gonna use a little bit of stimulus. We're gonna have embedded finance, issued cards, checkout. This is a, a tutorial about how we're gonna build an e-commerce platform for creators to sell their digital downloads like eBooks, audiobooks, courses, etc. It's gonna be super fun. I've got a lot of content baked up for us, but what I wanted to do in this episode was just show you what we will build as uh, we go through this entire course about how we're gonna actually build out the creator platform. So this is the landing page. We've, we're using Tailwind UI. This icon, really cool. We use Doll E and um, uh, so some, some machine learning to automatically generate an icon for us. That was a really fun episode. So what we're gonna do is click on register here and walk through the process. So as a brand new user here, we can sign up with a subdomain. We can sort of claim a subdomain. So let's here call this our like video subdomain or something. And so we're gonna say video at example.com, password, password, and click sign up. Now we are prompted by our browser for a whole bunch. So let's take a look at the dashboard. So on the dashboard, it says create an account to get started. So this link here is gonna allow us to create a brand new custom Stripe account. And that custom Stripe account is gonna be the backing for each of our creators. So uh, here we're gonna walk through the process for creating a brand new Stripe account. This is all sort of just basics that we're gonna fill in. So I'm gonna say video at example.com here. And I'm gonna kind of quickly, quick, click through all of this so you don't have to watch filling in a bunch of details, but this is the connect account onboarding flow that we're wiring up using a bunch of different webhook handlers. And again, we'll have episodes covering all of these different pieces as we get started. Now this entire connect onboarding flow is something that you can brand, you can upload your own icons and colors and sort of customize exactly what the experience is for customers when they go through this. In the episodes where we talk about connect onboarding, we'll cover how you can go through and set up a lot of these details. Now there's several different webhooks that are firing. If we were to look at the server log here, we can see all kinds of stuff that's flowing in. So we've got webhook notifications and we talk about how we're gonna set up the Stripe CLI to forward events into our local running machine. And as those events come in, this new connected account is gonna go from not having the ability to collect charges or receive payouts to having those are gonna be enabled. We're gonna have, here we have a financial account that was just created for us. And so now we're just sort of like waiting for all those details to flow through, capabilities to be updated. And that's happening as those details we entered into the Connect onboarding flow are being verified. So while we're waiting for our account to be fully set up, now we, we actually have a, a financial account and an external bank account there, we're gonna head over to the products view. So as a creator, you wanna be able to create a product. Now this creation flow is gonna end up creating a product inside of the Stripe dashboard. We'll call this being productive with Rails. This is an ebook about how to use Rails productively. Uh, maybe it's like the ebook that I dream about <laughs> actually selling. This photo here is gonna be a cover image of our icon. So I'm gonna to go to head over to downloads here. Okay, thumbnail ebook. Book. Great. Okay. And then we can set up a default price. So maybe I want to sell this ebook, say, for $30. And what we can do now is we can also set up alternative prices. So we can localize the price if customers are coming from different countries. So I might also want to offer this in euros, and we'll just keep it the same amount just to keep it easy. I could also offer this in Canadian dollars if I wanted. I don't know. Maybe we'll make that a little bit cheaper for. Uh, uh, folks in Canada, and now we can say, let's create our product. So this is going to use the Stripe API. That is a brand new feature. It's using price localization. It's gonna use the Stripe API. It's gonna create products uh, uh, associated with this creator's specific account. And now they can upload maybe their ebook, right? They can uh, choose a file that they wanna upload. We've got like a little demo ebook here. Again, something that was written by OpenAI, really fun. So we're gonna say add attachment. And so now we have this attachment here. We can track the number of times that customers have downloaded that or viewed that. Really cool. Let's head over to our store and talk about how this works. So each store has a custom subdomain. So we can take a look at the store now. By default, it doesn't have any color. So the, the background color there is white. It's really challenging to see. So we can edit our store and set our colors. It seems like pastels are pretty in brand, like in brand right now, so on brand right now, uh, in vogue, I don't know. So we're gonna pick, maybe we'll pick a couple different pastel colors. This will be our primary color and our secondary color. And now when we save that, that's actually gonna update our Stripe account's branding to match the primary and secondary color. It'll also be used in our store. So now we have this sort of like 
uh, mauve, I don't know, purple button here to buy, uh, to buy the product. Now this is a link that the creator could take, send on Twitter or through DM or text message or whatever and send to their friends and their friends can go through the flow here, click on buy and they'll be brought through the Stripe checkout flow. So now we're redirected to Stripe and now we can see those branding colors. We see the image that was again uploaded to S3. So that all of that routing is totally working and the customer can enter their payment details here. Maybe we wanna use the card that ends in 7.7. That is a special test card and we'll talk about how we can how you can set that up inside of the videos. And this test card is gonna collect payment. So we're gonna collect this $30 for the creator. And rather than the funds landing um, or taking a few days to end up in the available balance, that's gonna skip directly to an available balance. You'll notice that the, the customer also received an email. So we'll talk about setting up and testing emails. And they have a login link that's right here. So they can click on that link and they will see the order in order to be able to download that. Now we we talked about a lot of different security things. So we even have sort of magic link authentication. So if I go here and I say, all right, clear out my session token, then when I attempt to view that order, I'm brought back to this login page where now I have to re-enter my email address and I can say, send me a login link. Now I can view my login link and I can see the order that I just purchased uh, with product, Productive with Rails. We also sort of secured the download link so people couldn't share around these eBooks uh, willy nilly, if you will. Um, and so now we've got, let's go back to our dashboard and talk about how we might view this as, um, as the creator. So now we can see a customer, a customer flowed in. That's great. We can view that customer and we can see what they've purchased. We can see that testedexample.com bought this book called Productive with Rails. Fantastic. Okay, if we look back at our dashboard though, let's see what's going on here. So because we use that special card that skipped our available or pending balance, it went directly to available. Now what we can do is this really cool thing where we can say pay that balance out to my financial account balance. So we're gonna move that money from our connected account down into our financial account. That takes just a second, but that's gonna land in our financial account. A financial account is sort of like a bank account. It's not technically a bank account, but it has account numbers and routing numbers and we can uh, move money into and out of that financial account without having to go to a bank to set up a bank account, which is really amazing. And another thing that's really cool about this is that now that we have these funds available as cash in our financial account balance, we can head over to the card holders tab. So we can create a brand new card holder for this creator. We're gonna just say this is a um, demo, demo, and I don't know, their phone number is, let's say 800-867-5309. That's their email address. Maybe their street address is one of, uh, one of these ones. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna create a card holder that created um, something called, yeah, a card holder. We can view the card holder, and now what we're gonna do, this is really, really cool. We're gonna issue this card holder a virtual card. This is a credit card that we're gonna issue to this card holder, and we can see that the last four of that card is 0005, but what's even cooler is we can drill in and see the virtual details of the card. So if this creator said, say, make made a payment, or uh, accepted a payment from one of their uh, customers, that money flows into their payments balance. They can click that payout button. It moves it down into their financial account. Now they can come in here and grab this card number and go anywhere online and go spend that money that they've received directly through the platform. So now we have a way to store funds, to spend funds, to collect funds. We have Magic Link authentication for customers. We've got ways to download stuff. We've got um, quite a bit uh, involved inside of our creator platform here. It's pretty powerful and it was really fun to build out. We fully deploy it to creatorplatform.xyz. This is up on uh, Heroku. And we've also got, you know, even the store that is up on Heroku has SSL for the subdomains. We're using Cloudflare for subdomain uh, SSL termination. It is it is a really fun, uh, it was a really fun course to build out. And I, I'm really excited for you to go through. Take a look at all the different pieces and uh, hopefully you learn a ton. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the first video. Thank you.